Hey, Arthur. C can I have a quick word? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now... I can risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Yeah, I'll do it, as long as you ride with us. Oh, I got a serious medical condition. Yes, you are a compulsive liar. Now, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> Well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. Come on, then, you miserable bastards. Yeah! How you get wind of this, old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. Well, while you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? Now, I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the road. <laughs> I've been watching them. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> Get out! Boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand. Shit! Hey! Think I say something! Oh, uh, great. Let's go! Arthur! Let's go! Yeah!
trail. Into the woods. Let's shake him and get back to camp. No, we need to find a place to lie low. We can't risk leading Cornwall's men at camp. All right. Yep. Whoa. Let's, let's, let's hide in here. Quick. Easy. Huh? Whoa. What are you get out of here. Yeah, he's gone. I'll see you later. All right. Let's get out of sight. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Ugh. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. Hey, now, let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... I... I why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? I, I, tell me what you heard. I don't... Uh, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. Place looks empty to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Give him hell, boy! Ah! Get down! What? You know you're gonna die! Behind you, Charles! We got more of the bastards on this side! More on the right here!
Arthur, with me. Need a meal out of that, didn't you? Ugh. This is a young man's game. Uh oh, sounds like they got some trouble over there. We better go get my hand. Some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our back. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it. Come on, get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, run quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move. This here the Gray Plantation? Yep. Sheriff's orders. He wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. See you at the sheriff's office. 
Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Who's there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved. <laughs> Gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are. Penelope Braithwaite. Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. 
But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. Uh, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, <sighs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. You gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just 
No more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on! Come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town. don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There. There they are. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob? We must begin. They leave me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what, your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hip, hip, hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun, Miss Calhoun, my friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun, normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a... Protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, yes ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch now, now. the water. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it, but I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Oh, don't give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. Well, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. Ladies, get down! Come on! Come on! Go home! Shut your mouth! What the hell is going on? Well, man! Oh, my God! Go shit! Cause all this trouble! You don't even know what to do! and gentlemen, yeah. this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. Oh. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals? Oh. Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you oh. silly old goat. 
Hey! What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, oh you always was. Bo, where will we just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh, come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. What a land of the future. A land of equality. A land of progress. Look at the beautiful land we have built. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... <sighs> everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasures. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful! Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. I excuse me.
Going north. Unbelievable. Yeah, Trump believes. Evening, partner. No. Bertram, say no. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Friends for life, we said. And now the two of you have betrayed me at once. Do you know what betrayal Everything means, okay? Bertram? Imagine saving people, taking them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stop. Dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little oh, tiny magician I... has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. Oh, fuck it, he... No, Bertram, Bertram, Bertram! Woof, woof! Bertram, put the nice man down! Do something, he'll eat him! Um, uh, e e easy there. Uh, easy there! Easy, big guy. Not nice. Mean man. Ouchie. No one likes tantrum, mister. Bertram. <laughs> oh, yes, Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico, hmm? But... <laughs> He's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's going to make it all better. But first, you got to tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? B Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise, too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract, and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram likes sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. How goes, partner? Welcome to the table. All right, bits in. Bets are closed. Time to play. No. Oh. All right, that's 18. 15. No. -uh. It's 11. I'm doubling down. 13. See a seven there. We're looking at a 13. Very uh, high, 19. Come on, you got this. 
Time to put your bets in. All right, bets is closed. Let's go. Uh. We got a nine. Card. Uh, it's a 16. Yep, me. 18. 12. Hit me. All right, that's 18. That's eight. Hit me. 18. I'm fine. 17. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. Thank you. See you next time. Get your bets in. All right. Careful. Thank you kindly, man. Watch yourself. Help! Fancy trying some of your luck here? Okay, then, I'm gang. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. See how you do. Shit. Now, let me see. I'm gone. Bye there. One more you got your knife on you, huh? Just might I'm up. See ya. See ya.
Oh, that's amazing. If you say so. Yeah. Are you Magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch. She's a witch. Who? Presta. Well, she cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't no, you? That's not She's it. a succubus. She's a succubus. Ah! Ah! Stay away from me. Hey, partner, come back here. Magnifico! Can't magic out of this, partner. Come on now, she ain't as bad as all that. Well, ain't you led me on a merry old dance. Come on down now. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me. <laughs> hey, uh, hold on there. Ah, so damn it. long, dummy. Where are you? Train to the Great White Way. Really? You got enough for a ticket? Pa. Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? 
What do you need a stub of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram! You got Dummy over there! Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? Ha 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 ha! Shut up, you dimwit! You sold me out! You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy! Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed uh, your brother. So you uh, are going to be pulling uh, rabbits out of your ass until you are as old as you are tiny. Put them up there. Uh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. No. We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Well, of course, you silly little man. And him? Let him at the bar agree to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I uh, know. Come to Mama. Oh, you... I did miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again. Back together. Back together. Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you. Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing Saint Denis next. Check with the box office. Here! No one said anything about splitting a gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye-bye. What I done to deserve you two?